Hello, 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 and welcome. It is Pip here, uh, queenpipcards.com. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is that better? I hadn't, I hadn't put my phone on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Can you hear me now, everybody? I apologise for the first few, first minute and a half there then. Hey, OK, cool. Uh, so welcome. It is Pip here from creampipcards.com. Let's try all that again. Uh, so <laughs> I am a little croaky today because I have been at the show all weekend. And um, yeah, I've been talking to lots and lots of people all over the weekend. So that was brilliant. And I have um, had a wonderful three days. It's been fantastic. So if you have met me at the show and kind of followed all my links and ended up here today, whether you're watching live or on replay, please do drop a comment and just say, you know, hashtag show um, connection or hashtag show or something like that, just so I know that you've come and connected with me from the show, because that would be lovely. Um, and if you are a regular here, that's great. It's nice to have you here. And um, we've got people coming in from my Facebook page, Cream Pip Cards, uh, also my card making for beginners group and also my YouTube channel. So hello, everybody. Hi, Julie. Hi, Margaret. Um, Jillian's here. Sue's here. Brilliant. And then somebody from my group is here who says, hi, that's better. But we can't tell who you are because you need to let StreamYard say that, that they can tell you who I who is watching. So the software that I use to be able to go to three places at once um, means that I can't actually see you in Facebook. So I will be able to if I go back in the group, but I can't see you right now. So um, please just go into StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook and say yes, please allow StreamYard to know who I am and then I'll be able to see who your comment is. If you don't want to do that, then just please put, oh, it's Trudy. Excellent. Yes, I was going to say, just put your name on the Facebook comment. That's brilliant. Ah, smashing. OK, so who have we got here? Jane's arrived and that's lovely. Hi, Jane. And Jo says she's back at work watching on the quiet. We won't tell anyone. We won't tell anyone. Excellent. OK, so let me give you a quick rundown of the show. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to all of our helpers. So there was me, Barry, Jay and Jean who ran the stand. And then we had a whole bunch of helpers helping us. There was Alison, there was Debs, there was Bev and there was Diane and there was Jane. So I just want to say a huge thank you to those guys for helping us out, because without them, we wouldn't have had any make and takes going on. So uh, that would have been dreadful because we love doing make and takes. And in fact, I'm going to share with you the make and take we did today. Um, and I'm going to show you how we do it. And then I'm also going to show you a couple of um, other options. And I'm also going to share with you some other really great Christmas things that have come out just this week. Uh, so morning, Louise. Hello. Hi, Taz. Excellent. So it's really good to have you all here. Look at what Alison bought me. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little MDF crown. So I need to um, I need to get that um, painted up and stamped up and, you know, prettied up. And then it's going to go in my packing and palace. Isn't that cool? So thanks, Alison, for that. It's lovely. Hi, Carol. Oh, that's nice. Carol loved our stand. It was so nice to see you again, Carol. Get a hug. It was brilliant. I don't know how many hugs I did gave over the weekend, but it was a lot. And I'm very happy about that. So... And at the moment, I, I'm, I just feel a little bit croaky, but apart from that, I'm fine. So let me show you what we did uh, over the weekend. So we used this stamp set, the Jingle, Jingle, Jingle stamp set. 
Now, if you are a demo coming to my Stampin' Extravaganza, this is the set that we're going to be using for that. And you will get four cards designed with that, but that's not what I'm sharing with you today. I'm sharing different cards today, so don't panic. Um, and yes, that is, it's called Jingle, 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 and it's got Hol Jolly, Believe, Jingle, and a few other bits and pieces. And I'll show you those more in more detail. And then this was one of the cards that we did for our make and take. And then this was one we did, which is almost identical, but oops, but not quite. Almost, but not quite. Um, changing up the color combinations. So that's good. Oh, see, now Joe's had a lovely point there. I like that, Joe. You're enjoying the September weekly specials. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Every week we get new specials coming out. So that's fab. Can't wait for that. Um, so you can go on and you get things at discounted prices. So if you're looking forward to um, getting some bargains, then now is the time. So let me um, get myself set up here and show you how we do this. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip. If you are doing multiple stamping, then your favorite friend is going to be the Stamparatus. If you are doing anything that requires like uh, precision stamping, then your Stamparatus is going to be your friend. Uh, if you like just making sure that you get your stuff in the right place, then the Stamparatus is going to be your friend. And everybody loved the Stamparatus at the show this week. And I wanted to show you what it looked like. In case you haven't seen it in action, we'll just do a bit of a quick demonstration. And I will make up one of these cards. And we'll do that. Uh, and then we will do, um, and then I'll have a look at some different things as well. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a tip. So let's say you are going to be doing multiple stamping. Okay, so you're going you, you're gonna to do your Christmas cards and you want them to all be the same. Uh, or if you're a demonstrator, you might be going to on stage and you might be doing swaps for like 50, 100, however many people you want to swap with. Um, if you're doing it, just stamping it, you might get it in the wrong place. You might do you might make a mistake or whatever. If you use the Stamparatus, it's perfect placement every time. So let me just switch over my camera. Come on, do that. Let's turn on some lights. Oops, get a bit of light on the subject. Put more light over here, I feel. OK, so this is the Stamparatus. So if you've not seen one before, it is a base. So it comes like this as a base. OK, and then you get a foam mat if you're using photopolymer stamps. OK, uh, because, you know, rubber stamps are thicker. Uh, so this allows you to use photopolymer stamps and it brings it up to the same thickness so that the plates work perfectly. Then you can get grid paper like this, which you can use um, you know, just in case you're stamping off the edge of a piece of cardstock or something like that. Um, and you can then start to position your stamps where you want them to be on your paper. And then you use these plastic plates. OK, and these are the things that you put your stamps on to get your perfect placement onto your paper. But supposing, and this happens, um, we knew this might happen. Supposing you make a design, you love a design, um, but you know that sometimes if you get a bit carried away cleaning your stamps, you might you might move a piece of paper, you might move one of the stamps on your sheet. Work it out first on a piece of grid paper and then line your put your stamps up with this. Because then what happens is, so we're going to do the um, outside first. So let's do the outside. And I'm lining that up with the garden green outline of this one. And then I'm going to pick that up with my plate. And I'm going to know that that's going to stamp that beautifully. OK, then I'm going to flick my plate over. And now I'm going to pick up my Believe Inside piece. Okay. Like this. So we're going to put this, work out where this sits perfectly. And they're all a bit jingly jingly, so they, they're not exact exact. So they, the letters move up and down, which is cool. So it's not straight straight, if you know what I mean. OK, 
Okay, that's believe. Then let's do our lights. Do a little set of lights. Have those up there. And I know this is where I want it to be because I've pre-designed it to, to make the cards. So I know this is exactly where I want it to be to fit on my piece of paper that I've got. Like so. It's very stiff back plate. Uh, and then we're going to do in the magic. So I know that's going to come down here. And the beauty of doing it like this and making sure that you put the image on a clean piece of grid paper as you've designed it um, means that you can, if you if you use your chamois or whatever and it gets just a little bit, um, uh, just things move a little bit, you can always put them back in the same place without too much worry. Okay, that's, that's, um, that's why I'm doing it like this. So let's just do this. And then I use just one magnet because I'm going into the corner to, to do that. Oh, we've got some questions. Uh, love the Stamparatus, says Tech for Stampers. That's Louise. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, someone says, I love my Stamparatus. I managed to order loads more plates so I can use even more stamps. Ah, uh, that was before they got rid of all the extra plates. Yes, that's true. Uh, love mine. Best bit of kit I've bought. Thanks, Sue. I'm glad you like it so much. I think it's brilliant. Um, I've never seen this before. I just have a stamping press. Ah, okay. So this is new to you. Yeah, this is cool. This is called our Stamparatus and it's great fun. So let me now show you how that works in practice. So let's now get some ink. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you is um, that we really, really recommend you use spots for this. OK, so these are um, little ink spots. Now, you can get some uh, already um, from stamping up like that, or you can get them uninked and re-ink them yourself. Now, these have been well used. Oh, it's Cheryl. Excellent. OK, um, brilliant. And Joe says, mine is my best friend. Ah, oh, see, the best friend is your stamparatus, which... I agree for stamping it is it is your best friend now I'm going to just make sure that these aren't too bad <laughs> we've used them well over the weekend as you can tell and I haven't quite had a chance to clean them up yet so I'm just gonna do this and give these a little bit of a clean so I don't get too much all over my fingers and if yours get a bit like this you can just do this just it's just a, a, a dry piece of paper towel Oh, I'm doing it off screen. Sorry, you can't see. Dry piece of paper towel, and I'm just running it along the edges to clear off any excess green ink that we've got there. Okay. This is my old olive, and I've got excess in there, so just gonna clean that off. I think actually it's just got on the on the um, on the onto the paper and just stain the paper, so that's fine. Uh, the green, the garden green, is one that I inked myself, so you can see that's very inky. Just get that a bit cleaner. I haven't had a chance this morning. I've been busy cleaning my plates, going through emails. So if you've had an email, if you sent me an email over the past four days, thank you very much. I will be, um, I've now looked at all of those and I might not have responded, but I may have actioned them. Uh, some people were giving me information which I had to pass on to somebody else. So that's all been done. So um, all the extravaganza stuff is on its way. So that's good. Uh, to tap to uh, my friend Tamara. So that's great. So I'm just cleaning these off just because it helps not to get you so sticky and so gloopy. Otherwise, I'll have ink everywhere and we don't want to have that. So in case your inks get looking like this, you just need a little bit of a paper towel. So this is a tip on cleaning. I did have somebody turn up at the show, actually, who had some ink pads that had basically just exploded ink a couple of years ago and she didn't know how to clean them so if you're watching i hope that you manage to get them clean with my tips that i suggested which uh, for anyone else who's watching is basically put on a pair of gloves and um and use a, a wet microfiber cloth on the outside and a dry microfiber cloth on the inside just to get rid of any excess and then pat off the excess ink from your actual pad if it's over inked Okay, so ugh, let's get all that. See, I've already got ink all over my fingers. But mind you, I wouldn't be a stamper if I didn't. So we're going to go with outlines first. 
So this is garden green. And using the little spots, this is why I like the little spots so much, because you can get precise inking directly onto your stamp. OK, and you're not left with any additional, um, you know, ink around anything. So we're going to do believe first. Pop that down. There we go. Nice. Isn't that lovely? Bang on. Uh, and actually, I'm going to show you that it's exactly the same every time you do it, because I'm going to bring in another piece of card because we had a few spare. So I'm just going to make these actually might end up being my swaps for on stage. <laughs> just saying. Because they're so easy to do, um, or at least some variation. There we go. So, there we go. And you can see it's in exactly the same place as that one. Isn't it cool? So cool. So, now what we're going to do, we're not going to change anything. Don't touch your stamps. We're going to just flip this one over and we're going to ink this one up in old olive which I have to say is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite um, Christmas colours, Old Olive. I love it. Um, although I've realised I must have somehow, at some point, lost my reinker, and I don't know how. OK, so I'm going to do that. And you're going to see it's a bit, it's a bit patchy. But that's OK, because we can go in and do it again bit more ink I think my ink is running out and I don't have a re-inker so that's a bit of an issue but I will I will get one and we'll be fine there we go. let's do that again there we are needs a good press by the edge there we go so there's my believe now I I think I've lined up that up pretty well with the with the um example one and as I say if you go back in again with this one we can do all that again so it's so great for these two step stamping uh, images where you need to have, you know, some precise stamping again. So there we go down there. OK, Cheryl said, I find my ink spots really useful and use them with the re-inkers for the ink colours rather than the ink pads. Yes, that's also good. Yeah, you can do that. That's it. You know, it's. If you don't want to buy the big pads and you haven't got a lot of room, then the reinkers and the little ones are great. So there we go. That's good. And you notice that I'm quite happy to pick this up, move it around. It's not a problem because I know that I have my stamping elements in exactly the right place. So now we're going to move on to the top plate. So let's do let's do those little light bulbs to start off with. Okay, I'm just going to put a few. There we go. Oop, see, now I missed that bit. So I'm going to go back in. I think this plate is a little bit tight. I wonder if I've got it turned around. It should be on the other side. Some plates are more less tight than others. There we go. Let's try that. Perfect. Then I'm going to pick it up again. Oops. And hit my phone. Because you do have to go up vertically. That's the only. I thought I'd raise my phone up enough, but obviously not. Um so now I'm going to go in with the magic. Can you see that? I'm still stamping that up and inking that up. Okay. Go back in with, I uh, believe in the magic. And I moved that. I thought I did. I moved that as I moved it round. It's just, it just came loose and I moved it. But I can, I can fiddle with that. That's better. There we go. Believe in the magic. That's how it should look. So now if I put the, the one we did be at the show and this one next to each other, you can see it's identical. Isn't it clever? But I'm missing something. I'm missing just a little bit of fun stuff up here. So um, I'm going to show you that. But I'm going to just whip these plates out and pop them somewhere so I can clean them. Now, these ones I would clean with a chamois. Um, so if you have one of our chamois this one for example they come like this they do get very um they do get very discolored they come a beautiful highland heather color and then they get really discolored but a chamois is good squeaks a bit as well <laughs> uh, okay Trudy's asking a really good question 
where do you buy the magnets or did it come with it yeah the magnets come they get two in fact and the reason why i use one at a time is they're earth magnets they're exceptionally strong uh, and if you put them too close together they can like interlock um, and get stuck with each other and if you have them like six inches apart on a flat surface and try and just leave them six inches apart they are so strong that they will, can fly across the desk and actually shatter so they, they come with a strong warning against that um, and also for people anyone who has a pacemaker needs to be careful just because they are so strong magnets but I don't normally suggest anybody hug their stamparatus because that wouldn't be good um, Oh, Sue, yours is smashed together. Yours broke in half but got replacement. Yes, yeah, so we sell replacements. Um, so you can just buy two magnets. So you get them here, and this is where they're supposed to live all the time. Far away from each other on the... Man, there's a dimensional stuck there. <laughs> um, far away on the back. Um, one here. There's like a little slot for it to sit in and one here. There's a slot for it to sit in and then there's a thumb hold here. So you get your thumb and your finger in under here and under here. Um, I always generally leave one out. I also generally leave um, a grid paper in here and you can you can either buy the foam deluxe mat, which has a foam with a grid like laminated onto the top of it uh, which for some reason i've never purchased because i think it would be a, i think it's a great idea um but you can also just get little grid paper pads like this um so i just tear off a new one and then i'll put that on there and i always keep my um sheet i always try and keep my um magnet off this so that i don't scratch it when i'm picking up my magnet or leave indentations in it so i keep it like that so that's my stamparatus and as i say it comes with, oops comes with magnets but don't put it next to anything magnetic <laughs> or you lose them as i've just done where's it gone what happened there oh no it came back that's okay phew so <laughs> I have a, uh, sometimes your trimmer can pick them up and all that. So you just be careful with your magnets is all my, is what I'm going to say. Right, let's move those out for a moment. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to use our Wink of Stella. Now at the show, we did a very clever thing. We had two Wink of Stellas on the go, uh, one of which we wrapped um, green washi tape on and one of which we wrapped red washi tape on. And I... We did that so that people wouldn't get them mixed up. But you don't actually have to do that at home because, you know, you don't. Um, it doesn't matter which uh, which one you use because you can wash them off. So we take a little, little tiny bit of ink. Don't need much. And a tiny bit of old olive. And then get my winter Stella. Give it a good shake. Needs a good shake. And then pick up my green old olive and just wash in these. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret. Sean actually made one of these. I think he made the, I think he made this one. So when he came to help set up, no, he didn't because it was the right size. He must have made, it was either this one or the other one. I don't know where the other one's gone. But um, he made the one which had Believe on it. But I'd done it like this with the two green and then the red, and he didn't like that. So he made it with just alternatives, <laughs> alternate red and green. And then you just wipe this off. So if you have a uh, piece of grid paper again, just wipe it off like that until it goes clear. And then you can use it on the red and it doesn't um, it doesn't affect itself, doesn't affect each other. Uh, otherwise, if you leave them together, you get a bit of a brown colour, which is not what we're looking for, really. Not on Christmas lights. And the thing about the Wink Stella is, of course, it, it's a glitter pen. Um, so it leaves um, it leaves sparkles wherever it goes. So this is now sparkly. It's so hard to pick up on camera. I don't know if I'm picking that up on camera, but it is actually sparkly. So there we go. 
that is now going to go on to bless him sean is just <laughs> sean has just run down the stairs right because our doorbell's just gone sean's just run down the stairs from where he's plastering okay he's plastering upstairs at the moment um and bless him he has run downstairs to pick up to get the ups man who of course decided at this very moment to ring our doorbell and deliver my four boxes of retreat and stamp and chat so <laughs> thank you sean <laughs> saved saved my bacon again oh dear he's such a good lad right I hope it hasn't broken his plastering though, otherwise he'll be very grumpy. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Just telling him how marvellous you are. <laughs> oh dear. I hope it's not breaking your plastering. Right, so he's, he's now off trying to sort that out again okay so there we go so that's the that's we put it on just a piece of basic of um garden green and then we have this beautiful paper this is from the sweetest christmas paper and we decided that we would use it on a nice old olive base pop the paper down and then attach the top and with a little bit of wink Stella, it is nice and sparkly now, people did do different things at the show, moved them around, switched them about. I love that. We love a bit of, um, you know, going with the going with what you what you want to do. I'm going to just make it the same because, you know me, I like to make things the same. We also went through an awful lot of dimensionals at the show. <laughs> Although, to be fair, not as many as I was expecting. So that's good. Uh, but I do have quite a lot of these ends left. So I'm going to re I'm going to make sure that I don't waste any. You know, we never want to waste dimensionals. Uh, but we do want to make sure that it's nice and firmly attached. So I cut mine up like this and then I can just use them as if they are dimensionals. Um, because, you know, you, you might as well use everything, everything that's on your everything that's here. I use these big ones like this and I know they're only half but they are just as good so that's cool and then stick one there stick one there the only problem is they don't go quite in the right order that I would normally do like for my OCD but I just have to I just have to go with that <laughs> oh dear so what do you think it's not a bad little gizmo and it's not a bad little card now if you don't have the stamping um platform our stamparatus of course you can try and do it yourself and it is entirely possible to do it without the stamparatus uh, you just have to breathe a little bit more and just take a little bit more time and it's harder i would say to make multiples of uh, so here we go pop that on there there we go so that's that's the card and that's the other card and i think that came out all right this is a red one this is a green one obviously Trying to get rid of all these sticky bit things. Come on. Um, so we had some with red backgrounds and some with green. And then we did the jolly one as well, just so that you could have tis the season to be jolly. You know, you mix and match them. And we've also got the jingle all the way. So that's the other one. This one is jingle all the way. So that goes together. And then you've got little Santa's hat stars. Uh, you've actually got a stamp to fill in the light bulbs if you wanted to by hand. Um a little bow and a little candy cane and a, a bauble, which I think are just adorable things that you can add and hang off of stuff and, you know, do all kinds of things. So I really love this stamp set, Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. And a, may, a lot of people realise the potential of it at the show. And it's £21. It's, it's nothing really for a new stamp set. Um, now, the stamp apparatus is 45 75 which is a little bit more of a considered purchase. So you might want to think about whether you want to, um, whether you do enough stamping to have one of those. But uh, as, as Joe says here, I rem when I first started, I remember asking you if I'd use it and you were right. I use it lots. <laughs> so I'm glad I was right. I thought you might. Um, and then Barbara says you love the grid paper in yours as well. Yes. So. So yours shattered, Sue. You can get new ones. You can also put a little bit of um, 
washi tape if you want to use them together because sometimes you have a card that you need to use them together those magnets um if you put some washi tape around them then it's easier to separate them out and pull them off um just try not to put them too close to each other and always if you use grid paper it helps to stop them sliding into each other um but yes absolutely great for doing wedding invitations multiple christmas cards save the day engagement you know you name it it's great for doing stacks and stacks of stuff so that's that so i thought i'd bring a little bit of the show to you with that we did have our boards up and i will be sharing the boards i know people have been saying are you going to share the boards share the boards with us i am going to share the boards with you i'm i'm just i needed to get a few things done this morning and get this done and then i will post the photos of the boards um Sorry, I'm laughing because Sue's just said replacements are in my basket as you speak. Nice. Happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Um, but yes, um, if you what was I saying? You, I've, I've lost my train of thought now. So, yeah, I think it's a great stamp set and it's it's great if you want to do uh, multiple stamping. And I will do the boards from the show. That's what I was talking about. I will do the boards from the show. I've taken pictures. We'll pop those up and you can have a look. We those those boards are. Um, the boards are from uh, all of us. So there are they're not all my designs. Some are from um, my teamies, uh, Jean, Creativity with Jean, and uh, Barry and Jay, Matoso Crafts. Um, now, uh, what DSP is that? So it is the sweetest Christmas one. I'm just trying to see if I can pull it out of my stash here. Oh, where is it? Where is it? It's always the last one that you find, isn't it? No, I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. Leave it down here. No, that's holly leaves. Um, I can't find it now. Sorry, I didn't bring it out with me to, to show off. I should have done. But let me get the catalogue. It's easier, probably. So it is the one on the very beginning suite. So uh, this this one here from this suite where's it gone here this paper here oh and now i can't see it someone says i missed that i had to, as i had to take a call i'm not sure what you missed i'm sorry if you missed it all uh let me know what you missed and i will try and share it with you again uh but yes this is the sweetest christmas papers and they use sweet sorbet real red garden green and pool party but we were rebels and threw in Old Olive because Old Olive and Real Red and Garden Green go very well together. Uh, so, <laughs> you know us, we never like to stick to the story. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's it's these papers. They're beautiful, really gorgeous. And everybody liked them very much, uh, especially when they got a chance to see maybe some different ones, etc. as we were going. Right. Cool. So if you're looking for Jingle, 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 um, it is on page da, 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 26 of the catalogue. So if you've got the catalogue, you want to go to page 26. And here is the stamp set. And as I say, £21, 153438, 18 stamps. So it's great. Uh, and if you're looking for stuff for the Stamparatus, the Stamparatus is in the large catalogue, in the annual catalogue, or on the website, obviously. Um, you just put in stamp a rat us. Um, I know it's it's a funny name. It's it does stamping and it's and it's an apparatus. That's where it comes from from this from the US version. Uh, so stamping tools page one four seven to one four nine. One four seven to one four nine. Here we go. Perfect placement. It's a little bit. It's not well. I mean, it's not really shown off here very well. I don't think. Uh, in this catalogue in other catalogues it's been shown off pretty well um, but it's right at the end of the ribbons and you just see lots of cards and you maybe not realizing what it actually is so the stamparatus itself is 45.75 then you get the magnets if i mean you get the magnets included but if you need to replace them then you can uh, you can buy the small grid paper and the deluxe foam mat which is it, it's kind of hard to see but this is actually a foam map that's been got laminated surface on top plastic laminate on top so that's quite handy all righty so that is that uh now i want to share with you something different 
Um, and that is something else that came out just this past week. Uh, so we have two brand new kits. Ooh, two brand new kits. So one of them is a card kit. Okay, and it's called Cozy and Bright Kit. So I'm just going to open this. As you can tell, I have not opened mine yet. Uh, it's literally arrived, but I was doing the show, so I had no time to open it or have a look at it. Because so, when you're at the show, you really can't do anything else. We were there from like nine in the morning. So we were getting ready and, and making sure we had everything. Getting home about half five, six-ish. Um, and then eating and going to bed and getting up the next day. <laughs> um, so that's the so Cozy and Bright kit. Oh, look at that. See, we get some. So this is how they come with a kit. And we were sharing a lot of kits um, at the show as well. We didn't have this one because this one came out before we even knew it was like it arrived and we didn't even know it was going to be available at the time of the show. So this one we didn't have, but we had Christmas whimsy, sold loads of those. And also the robots were popular and sentimental rose is always popular. So that's good. Uh, it, it comes with a poppy parade little spot. So this is another great way of getting those spots that you use for your stamparatus Buy a kit because you all, you know, if it's got stamps with it, you always get at least one spot. Uh, if you buy the robot kit that's out at the moment, you get two spots. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then it comes like this, fully inclusive. If I can get it out. There we go. Take the box away. Lovely box, useful for storage and stuff uh, and giving gifts at Christmas. And it then, let's get that out of the shiny. It looks like this. These are the instructions. Now, this is, again, multiples of one design. So this is not... Um, this is not like lots and lots of different designs in this one. I do not believe. I believe it's all one design. Oops. So you get twine. You get a block. And then you get all of this. I'm just trying to get the plastic off. So you get loads of these, which are like already die cut pieces. In fact, are they stickers? Oh, they're stickers, I think. Yeah, so you get stickers, one, two, three, four, four stickers, that's like that. You get a huge pack of dimensionals. They've obviously been listening to me. Um, you then get um, some beautiful envelopes that are already got those gorgeous little oranges and pine cones stamped on them. Aren't they gorgeous? I really like that. Uh, and then some pop out ones. These are not stickers. These are pop out ones. So they come out like this. like so and then some cinnamon and star anise i think this is i'm assuming that that's what it is so i'll take one of those out because i'm going to make one now to get loads of those uh, you get labels lots and lots of labels take that uh, and then you get some card bases so oh look at this <laughs> oh pre-done card bases are they all i'm assuming they're all the same yeah, they're all the same. Brilliant. So this makes one, two, three, three four. Uh, yeah, this makes 12. So I'm just going to um, burnish this one with my bone folder. Get that going. Nice. Lovely. That's nice, isn't it? Pretty with gold sparkles already on it. Oh. <gasps> Nice. How much is that kit, Pip, says Louise? Uh, it's 22, this one, I think. Um, the uh, next one, I think, is 24 because it's got extra bits in it. We'll come to that in a minute. This one's 22. So you make 12 cards for £22, but you end up with a set of beautiful uh, Christmassy sayings. Let's see. Probably show up best on here, maybe. Uh, celebrate the season. All is cosy and bright. May this holiday warm your heart. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Uh, orange you glad it's... <laughs> orange you glad it's Christmas instead of aren't you glad it's Christmas. <laughs> orange you glad it's Christmas. Okay, that's a little weird. Happy Christmas is a joyous and a joyous new year. That's quite nice. I like that one. Happy Christmas and celebrate the season. All is cosy and bright. 
may this holiday warm your heart and wishing you a Merry Christmas. Orange is Orange You Glad It's Christmas is a bit out there for me, but there you go. That's just <laughs> It's just me. Uh, I'm sure some people will find it hilarious and will love it. So uh, maybe it's something that maybe it's a young thing and I just don't know about it yet. So then you get all these lovely instructions, which quite frankly look like they're very simple because they're the same for all of them. So you're going to these are your pieces that you need. OK. Uh, so we need the big orange and the star anise and cinnamon piece, which I've already pulled out. Then we're going to need um, two stickers and an orange sticker and some twine and the poppy parade and some dimensionals. So step one. May your, what does it say? May this holiday warm your heart. Well, let's try a different one. I like it, but we'll do a different one just because I like to be different. I never like to follow the instructions. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Um, you know, but they should all fit. That's the that's the beauty of it on your little strippy thing. Um, all is cozy and bright. Celebrate the season. They all fit. That's that's the good thing about these. So um, I'm going to go with all is cozy and bright. And so you can make your cards say whatever you want them to say. But it's a good little set. Good little thing i'm not going to open my ink spot my poppy parade because i do tend to give them out as gifts and prizes to people um and if i don't use them myself so i'm going to just whop open my big normal ink pad because i'm not going to use my stamp apparatus for this i'm i'm kind of brave it and go straight in <sighs> okay but you can there's loads of different techniques you can use to use your stamp apparatus with labeling and stuff to help you get things straight there we go. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? All is cosy and bright. And I like those little slanty ends. I do that myself quite a lot sometimes. So that's good. Okay. So then it says, obtain this. Okay. Stick the orange on here. Okay. So we do this. Where's my sticker sheet? Here's a sticker sheet. Right. So on the sticker sheet, Take this one off, stick in this sort of gap here, and you can see the placement for it. It, it covers up the edge of that leaf and just over there. So about there-ish, like that. Oh, my tummy is making really odd noises today. <laughs> okay, then it says take uh, the big one, this one, and put dimensionals on the back. Now, it says to use three. This would be my only thing. If you're buying a kit, do yourself and me a favour and buy some extra dimensionals because um, three, really? I mean, there might be a good reason for it, but I'm so I'm going to go with three like that. And then I'm kind of mm, sort of, but not quite. So I just feel it needs a little bit more in our postal system. All right. So then we're going to slide that one over. That sort of goes over the edge of that orange, like so, like so, like so, I think. Maybe a bit down, but there we go. Like that, nice. And then next thing we're going to do is cut some twine, some of the linen thread. We'll do that. What do you think of the kits? I love, I actually really love the kits. Now it says 30, 12 inches, 30 and a half centimetres, which luckily this goes to 22. So 22 and a half. So then I just need another eight. So you even get your own little measuring stick on the edge of your instructions. Okay. So that's good. Done that. And, oh, we're tying a bow. Excellent. Oh, makes me happy. Any card with a bow makes me happy. So, <laughs> pop it around there. Probably, maybe that's why I was drawn to this one. I don't think you need 12 inches to tie that bow, but, you know, I'm just saying. You you take 12 inches. You've got it. Not yeah, yeah, you've got enough to do that. There's enough in the pack for you to do that. Um, 
I think I would probably do a little bit less. If you if you like doing it off the roll like I do, then you could do a little bit less because you do have quite long bits left. Um, just, just chop those off just a smidge, like so. Um, and then we put two, dimen two dimensionals. Oh, OK. So this is going to go flat on here. So just one on here and one on here. OK. They need to be the right size. So we'll put one on there and then one on here. There we go. Now, if it was me and I was at home and I wasn't just doing it as a kit, I would just put a little dab of glue just on here. Because you know why? That's going to sit and help it stick to your oranges. So then we're coming right the way across here. Sort of covering up down there like so, like so. There we are. And then we've got our label. What do we do with our label? Oh, we had some more stickers. OK. OK, so we're going to tuck this. We're going to add this to this. But again, it says just with two dimensionals on this side. So I'll put. At least they go for two. I'm impressed with that. That's good. But I'm going to also add a little bit of glue over here. Because otherwise it might flap a bit. I mean, it shouldn't do. It should be right, but you never know. So this is coming across here, across your bow, sort of almost right over here, like so. Oh, no, not that far. Like so. There. No, I only needed one of those. I didn't need two of those. I must have put my orange slightly in the wrong place. Let's put that over there. Go away. Get off, get off, get off, get off. I've got sticky. It's stuck to my finger now. Can't get off. There we go. So I think a little bit over here like this. There we go. And then straight to the card or straight to the straight to the orange it depends on how OCT you are on that bit <laughs> and then we need more stickers more stickers so now we're going for um the different sizes so we've got the big one comes in behind here like so nice and then the little one comes in behind here oh that's nice like that that's lovely isn't it and there is your little it all is cozy and bright Christmas card, isn't that beautiful? So simple to make, nice kit, good quality pieces. I would just add on a little bit of Tombow to just to make sure that everything's stuck down. But apart from that, that is a really nice Christmas card. You could get together with friends, make some cards using that. Really simple. So that's the first kit, and it's called cozy Christmas kit so it's available now online and it's called just double check got that right oh cozy and bright kit cozy and bright kit is what it's called uh, and I'm I'm fairly sure this one's 22 so then if you finish making your cards for the day then you just pop them straight back in your box that you've got with all your gubbins your extra bits oh sorry just smash the camera again um and obviously keep an envelope out because you need that for the card that you've just made pop all that in there pop your ink spot and you obviously i'll clean my stamps and i'll put them back in a minute put your poppy parade back in and then you can just shut it away and it's just in a little box until you make the next one or you can make them all at one in one go and then use the box to just store your stamps, ink and spots uh, and blocks in. And there's a lovely Christmas card, isn't that? I think that's really nice. I think that's lovely. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I really like that. Then if you wanted to, you could wink a stellar the oranges up, you know, because that's always a bit of a, of a nice thing to do. You can just go over your kits and just add a bit of sparkle. So... I think, I mean, oranges always need a little bit of glistening, don't you think? So we can just add a bit. So if you wanted to, you could add on a, a wink of Stella. And then you can just give your orange slices just that little glistening going on. 
which I think is good. Probably do it before actually. Um, before I start the sticker on. But yeah, it's great, isn't it? Just a little bit of extra sparkle. Because we all like a bit of extra sparkle. But I don't think it takes away from the gold, having a little bit of Winker Stella shining on there. Pretty. So there we go. So that's that kit. The next kit I'm thinking will be fantastic for Christmas presents. Because if you've got any teenage girls in your family this is going to be a great or actually even probably maybe even a bit younger than teenage could be i mean these days they grow up so fast don't they louise this would be great for grace i think this one this is called love this memory notebook kit so this would be a lovely um a lovely um present to give somebody because it is As we get that off look at this it's a journaling kit so it comes with parakeet party which is oof, marvelous color look at these fab stamps so you've got it's a good day the best lovely smiley face love that smiley face shake it off smile every day be beautiful which is nice shine on Life is cool. High five. Start somewhere. The best. Love this. Yay. A flower, some arrows, hearts. I mean, it's just great, right? Really cool kit. And then inside the kit, oof, I've already seen some beautiful holographic paper in there. Oof, oh, look at that inside here so you get your block as always because you're going to do some stamping with this kit so you get your block you get a pack of washi tape and um tear and tape a little pack of tear and tape and then you get this so loads of yummy stickers lots of different um alphabet stickers and arrows you get a gorgeous notebook like this okay isn't that beautiful and then you get loads and loads of things to stick on it look smiley happy faces you've got um more arrow shapes tabs you can tab it and if you put the tabs in it won't go over the edge because there's a nice deep gusset um I mean, Louise, absolutely. This is this is a this has got grace written all over it in my view. And then these are like um, stickers that you can stamp, and then they just stick. They just peel and stick. So they've got word uh, labels, flowers, thoughts, thought bubbles. You've got like little mini um, memory card pieces, so you can pop those in for summer holiday memories you know going on holiday christmas memories i think it's gorgeous what else have we got here we've got more oh look at these these are square pop out pieces look at that oh, holographic stickers oh my goodness <laughs> uh it keeps going on oh big pieces here we go we've got big shapes oh look at that big sun like that that's nice thingies uh, more stickers and then oh look a lovely little this is like a little note um holder and it's already got tape on the back so you can just pop that in and stick that in your in your book as well i mean isn't that such a cool gift to give uh for christmas to a girl or a boy not so i'm not being gender specific it could be you know anybody really but with the stamps as well, they can really make that notebook their own. And they can jazz it up, sticker it up, do whatever they want with it. And um, be the be the talk of the school, I reckon, with one of those. That great. So you get one, two, three, four, five. So you get ten pages, ten double-sided pages to cover. 
plus the cover and the front, which you can also obviously decorate. So this pocket, I think, would look great. You could put it on the inside. You could pop it on a page. Um, you know, you can put some of these on here with maybe a photograph on it. You could take a little photo, selfies, cut them out, print them out, cut them out, pop them on here. Uh, just so many options. And look, this would be a great background to a big picture. Just, It's just fab, isn't it? Just really love it. Really, really love it. So, yeah, so this is my Christmas, first Christmas gift idea for you this, this season. Okay, and I think... I think that will be one that is going to fly off the shelves. So what have we given? What have we done today? Let's have a look. We've got comments and stuff. Jo says she's got to go. See you, Jo. <laughs> so what do you think? We've got a nice Christmas kit to make some cards. We've got a lovely kit that's a gift. And then I've shown you how to use the Stemperatus to make a beautiful jingle 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 card as well that we made at the show and i will be putting some more photos up as i say of the show stuff um if you'd like to purchase any of these i will be putting the links in the description they're not there yet so just bear with me and um if you're watching this on replay please let me know whether you enjoyed the projects today uh and if you like any of the items or if you want any more information about any of the items then you can do that but you can also just literally hop over and go and shop on my store and these not this but these will be in the kits collection section or in the um in the new releases section and then this one um i will put the details in my weekly newsletter so um you like the jane says she likes the cra the cozy and bright yeah i think i think they're lovely be really good to do with it again church group scouts guides you know anyone who wants to put christmas cards together at christmas um i don't think that's a bad price considering you also end up with a stamp set and an ink spot and a block at the end of the day so it's quite good for that taz says fab as fab live as always thank you taz that's very kind um so yes yeah, so now i'm going to give away a card because i always do a giveaway everyone else is left already tough um gonna, i'm going to give away one of the cards from the show and maybe a cozy as bright as well we haven't done that for ages so let's do a giveaway because i like doing that so let us share my screen so make sure if you want a card from me make sure that you have commented in the comments now uh and then that way when i pull the name all the names they'll pick out all the comments and i know lots of people are back to school and all that this week so i hope that all goes really well too um so let me share my screen now we're going to share this share this we're going to do this one and we're going to start collecting comments 15 entries in individual entries that's brilliant so here we go <gasps> who's going to be who's going to be who is it going to be it is jane well done jane you're going to get one of these which is nice because you didn't come to the show you couldn't come to the show because you were too far away so that is lovely so jane you'll grab one of those oh i don't know why it always pops me back like that let's come back to here so you can see my face uh let's just turn that down a little bit so uh let's have a look what else have we got oh so judy says thanks for sharing the notebook yeah i know it's lovely isn't it it's really really nice notebook and i mean it's a good old size it's the size of my head just just saying it's, it's pretty much the size of my head so it's quite big um and and i think anyone any girl would like that i've got a couple in mind who might like that I might even send it to my niece she might like that although she's a, a little older she's in her third year of each she, she'll be in a she'll be in her third year of uni she'll be going back next month to her third year of uni i think so yeah i might just send her a little care package and send that up to her um so last day of holidays for louise oh well don't show gracie this um thing if you're going to give her a, that as a prezi tell her i wasn't on today or something <laughs> so, don't let her have a sneak peek um hannah says she's going to watch on replay because she's only just had a lunch break oh bless you hannah uh so yes and and andriana says lovely demo oh thanks very much thank you very much that's very kind uh and jane says thank you so yes your card will be in the post to you 
uh oh taz is on holiday countdown oh it's all coming out now oh we're getting all the news coming out now so um, in fact why don't i just do another little giveaway let's do another one as well let me write that down first though because i've got a couple of cards here i can give i can give more than one let me um just write on the back of this shocker so we've got jane there we go let's put another one i always love to let's do two so we can do uh share 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 my screen, the screen, share that one. Here we go. Let's draw again. Drawing again. Dun, dun, dun. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, Celine's on here as well. Hello, Celine. I didn't see you. And it's Louise. Hey, there we go. Lovely Louise. Thank you, honey, for being here. That's brilliant. So we'll stop sharing that. There we go. So, um, Margaret's Margaret's popped on says she'll watch the replay that's cool but I've given away the surprise now you know who wins <laughs> who just joined us um so Jane and Louise cards will be in the post to you uh and I hope you like them so that's it for another week I know it's amazing September's here and it's already the fifth can you believe it? The fifth already. Thank you to everyone who came to the show over the weekend. Um, I loved seeing you all. Thank you to everyone who is in the group. We're going to be, um, I'm about to um, approve a whole bunch of new members coming in. So please welcome them as they come into, the, into my uh, Facebook group. And um, I'll be here again, same time, same place next week. So if I don't talk to you until then and see you at one of the various things, I can't remember what we got on this week. We've got paper party on this week. <laughs> I have no idea whether I'm coming or going. We've got paper party starting on Friday. So that will be good. Um, a day and a half, well, two days really of paper party fun, all the fun with papers. Uh, and then stamp and chat the following weekend, stamping extravaganza the weekend after that, team training this weekend with mystery stamping. And, and then it will be October and then it's retreats. <laughs> it's just... um, so, yes. So have a think about whether you like any of that. Have a lovely week. Uh, I'm thinking that I might because October is a busy month for me. This may well be. I'm just going to see if it will fit into one of my normal boxes. But this might be your stamp and chat for next month. So um, I'll order them in and then ship them all back out. You'll get a full set if I can fit it into the box. But I'm not going to say that that is Stamp and Chat next month until I know that I've managed to get it all in the box. Um, it's just for me, that would be really easy and also a nice, fun way of doing kits. So if you um, if you are not in the membership group uh, and you want to do that, then you can book in now for October Stamp and Chat. If you are in the membership and you fancy doing a different kit or just doing your own Christmas cards or whatever for Stamp and Chat in October, then you can just book in and just come along for the chat um or you or you can get your um you'll get this discounted if you uh, if you book in with me through stamp and chat using your code so uh and remember that code is in your private membership group it's not on here so have a fabulous week lots and lots and lots of lovely things to look forward to uh, and i will see you again very soon so thanks ever so much for watching you take care and i will talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>